passenger in the bus. Look, passenger. Oh, see me now. Way I'm up to now. Watch your boy. Watch your driver. Why? Look, yeah, man, go to my police station. No, man. Jesus. My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Self-love is giving yourself the grace to learn through your mistakes. Self-compassion is giving yourself kindness as you try. Self-care is what you do to express your self-love. Remember, you cannot thrive on the love you get from others. You thrive on the love you constantly give to yourself. You flourish on the positive emotion you cultivate in your soul. Find what feels good and you will create greatness in your world why go on my people hope everybody doing okay hope everybody doing all right yet another morning we get up and find myself alive every day above ground is a blessing how oh, awesome it is to be amongst the living and surely 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 not amongst the dead give thanks to life for the gathering crocus bagger things are going on to come on this platform yeah? ball to ball coming through the get. so i can start the news right as i can need to the bridging them in the behind bars if you do they do you understand you no need for do they do because this is a boy in the front there, we don't know. I are telling the truth. A 36-year-old father who pled guilty to sexual molestation of his daughter has been sentenced to 12 years in prison. Yesterday, them dropped that pandemic. You understand right out on the St. Catherine Circuit Court. Justice Ivan Brown. As she clapped him with the 12 years. You understand? She said 11 years and 11 months for grievous sexual assault, 3 years and 2 months for sexual touching, and 3 years and 2 months for incest. Because I'm like a 13-year-old daughter, you know. From in a 20, 21, the boy I do them looking at the other people and me I tell you no. I guess you should have given bail. Yeah, man, shall we make him walk and make some man see my road and just fan off him head clean, 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 clean. That boy not run there with you, you know. Me no say now listen to me. That boy there not supposed to run there with you, no. They may really want to give the boy name still call them say, yo, them no want. You know, the backlash cup on him, that and the black thing there. That's how they must say, but we can move on from right as well. Because we're minor involved in that. Right around the Greenwich Park now, guess what? Go on, power, go on. The police, them say, them see one pile of rubbish. Me never know the police, so I can see rubbish, so I look at that rubbish. Almost somebody tell them, look at that rubbish. So they decide, say, them are going at the rubbish, and they move some mess. And guess what? Tada, they find one gun. They find one gun in a the mess. So I say, well, and the hotel, they say, the gun did there. They must know who put it there. So, that is with police teams. In my view, we don't really know what's in you know, intelligence like, operation. Some say, move from right. I say, I don't know what's in it. I don't know what's in it. Go look for nothing. But anyway, 18 year old student was on Monday charged for the double murder which occurred in the intersection of North and Orange Street in downtown Kingston little over two weeks ago. Every Stewart. 
call himself Giant. He come from Upper Oxford Street, Kingston 14. Somebody have him picture. So, I send me picture. I show the people them who him be. You understand? Him the kill. Dante and Dante, you know. Eh, eh, him kill the two you, them. You understand? Anyways, I can refresh your memory about the incident. On Tuesday, October 22nd at about 7.50 a.m., Gennaro, Dante, Mitchell and Donald Walters Jr. They're on the roadway. They're going to walk a guy work, you understand? When two men armed and gun approach them and open fire, I let them down kill them. The people that are on the roadside, see the boy them. See the boy them, you understand? See them. The injured man were taken to the hospital and there's a gun power gun. Them dead right up there. Following investigation, Smith was charged while in custody at the Medcalf Street Juvenile Remand Center. So this is a little boy, you have one problem long time. This is a little boy, you have a problem long time. I slap the police, them should not slap him. We. I wait there now, people speaking of slap. We. Right round now, Clarkstown now we gone. The council make me know, so my view, what I go on down here, you know? What I go on down here, there's a rift amongst the youth, them, Clarkstown district and porous. That's why you see. You look at you dead yesterday. Me say, oh, see me, Stevens. Mama said, I'm going to be a troublemaker, you know. I'm saying, yes, my view. Who knows I'm a troublemaker, but the local referee, I go on the division, it cause it. There is something brewing between the young men within the area from the various communities. I know that there are persons. There was a first shooting of the Trinity. There are shooting of the young man weeks before in Clarkstone also. In poor, who's from Clarkstone. So this is the second victim from Clarkstone. But what I'm picking up is that there seems to be a rift between the young men in various communities. Right down in Redbury and Trinity, for example, is where I'm told the rift is. I'm, the police haven't confirmed it, but what I'm hearing from the residents within Poros is that there's a rift going on between young men from various communities, Redbury and Trinity specifically. And somehow you have persons who have taken sides. I am very concerned about the state of crimes within the parish of Manchester. I thought there was a little bit of the slowing down in terms of the, of the murder rate, but to hear that there was a murder in Clarkstone last night in the Poros era, very um shocking to me we have made some strides and had some meetings with the stakeholders with the police with the community and we thought that we were getting a whole other problem so to hear that there's another murder last night i know it is indeed something that we are concerned about and we will take every step to ensure that something like this going on to the festive season will not be a norm for the poorest community one thing me i tell the youth step is if you don't want to kill off on the cell phone you can't go and go do it because i beg you nobody kill no innocent people I mean, innocent people get caught in on a crossfire. People only know them, you know. So, my as well, not just tell the police them which part them best, so the police them can go slap them. Eh? So, they can get to the local grand market, because I mean, no, so no one that, you know. I mean, no, so no one to the grand market. Anyway, now, people, watch your one power, go on the justice system, keep failing this lady. Eh? From 2014, the lady, I walk up and down. I talk to my mother, you understand? She walk, she walk, she walk. She walk off all her boot heel. Every time she got caught, Nothing is being done. I really have one power, I want. Eh? When I wait until the woman dead seat there now. Now, say never forgot to answer the case. Got turn. Because it's a put up too much in a set, James. And that the judge said, yes, it is. So, Jamaica, for justice come out and I say, yo, foolish is a go on. What has unfolded in the last few trial dates is in fact a national disgrace. I think the actions of the police and the actions of those responsible for generating the list where jurors would be um, selected is in fact intolerable and it sends a signal that justice is for some and justice is not for all. When you look at the last few trial dates, for example, in April, the jury summons were served less than three weeks before the trial date. You fast forward to June, less than two weeks. The police is not adhering to the provisions in the jury act. And I think if we're talking about accountability, that is something that is not acceptable. And all of us as Jamaican citizens must raise our collective voices to say that enough is enough. And if it is that we do not get a sense from the state that the trial of Mario Dean will commence, then I think our voice again must be loud to say that this is something that we will not be tolerating. We were told that due to cost financial factors, this was not possible. But I asked the DPP's office to consider 
what cost are we willing to pay? Are we willing to pay a cost where we see the trust levels of citizens being undermined? Draw them and draw this a case of them and mama dead, you know? Let me tell you something, man. God has given mama a long life. But mama, let me ask you something. You know, nobody works science. Science them, man. But people like the science working them, you know, if I show, but you can't science them. Anyway, we can move from right to the circle, right around Justin country. Justin, have a look at funny name. Shuda, Fruda, Fruda, whatever. Who know exactly who I talk about when I give one of the story. Because them are two up on the skin. Them arm and them dangerous. You understand? Arm and dangerous. Monday, September 30, 2024. The boy and the girl right there, so They're responsible for the brother they did. Anthony McBean. He's a 42 year old. live right in Toronto, Canada. Right up there, 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 there. So, Justin Countryman know exactly who I talk about. So, Ricardo. Bailey, age 35, wanted for second degree murder. Yes. People them say, him have ball head. You understand? Come like a lot of shape of same head. Ball. Him tin built. Mm-hmm. I me say, ball head. Then this a girl here, Debbie Jones. She a 42 year old. Second degree murder. She's described as medium built and she have dark hair. Them say look like them running from Canada and they are Jamaican and them arm and them dangerous. Anybody out there feel like say yo, you know, man, put them up. Put them out. Put them out. Come like when you can get a tip from the Canadian authorities, you know. I can give them number. 416-808-7400. All right. Nobody call the tip line because I know you don't want a piece of food. So call that money there and negotiate on the food before you do nothing else. I can give you the tip line still. 416 222 8474. But I know you don't want to know look at tip. Figure out information. So guess what? Make them run on a piece of food and they tell them which part of find them to you. But then go back to Canada and face the music. All right. Speaking of the music, the people out of breathless yesterday. You man, them come out and them a protest. I want to tell all hotel workers this right now. If you don't feel like, say, you do overwork and you underpaid. You can look at the next job, you know? Yeah, man. You can go look at the next job and look at a better job if it is there. But if it's not there, you have to probably stick with you and get But I like me to tell you. I don't really mean that way there still. Full time now, you stand up on the foot. Stand up on the foot and request the things that you need to make your life better. You can't make him up there alone and smile. And you go my ball after you do all of the work. All the things that I do, I come and record your time and cock up in the AC. No, you don't have to do enough. You don't have to do enough. Do. If it means to you, some holiday get mash up. Mash up some holiday. Yeah, man. All of you, hotel worker when I get. Fear treatment right now. Go and go protest. Yeah, man. Go. I say, me guarantee you, you know. When I get to you know, because Christmas right around the corner, all of them out there book out. Take to the streets. We have cardboard can go now. Three staff doing weddings, events, and preferred club. Tell me if I'm not injustice that. Tell me. We need staff to work. We overwork. One staff, one staff I do 10 man work. There is no transparency. We are just working. No transparency. Whatever we get paid every fortnight, that's it. We don't know what we're getting paid for. It's been 14 years I've been here. The commission for massage have been only 8% and we've been begging for, for an increase and there has been no increase. 5%, Right, because it will be 5% because 3% comes out of that 8% to pay um, somebody at accounts yes. to do our commissions. Everything's shut down inside, dude. You know, nothing's getting done. You know, there's no entertainment. You know, it's, it's a lot less fun. You know, we're just kind of standing around, dude. Nobody's talking to us. Management sometimes a little bit too greedy. Yeah, so so good for them, but don't spoil my holiday. I think most most of the, the, the challenges I think we can resolve. I think we can resolve. So they're talking about short of staff, they're talking about too much work. I think it's gonna be my responsibility to do this one. 
but, but remember, I'm here to show, first of all, my empathy to the colleagues because I like to be part of our colleagues. And like I said to everybody, we'll be back to in 24 hours with uh, some uh, uh, concrete answers. That everything will be resolved overnight. Right. The reconfirm a number of things that the bonus is set for mm -hmm. Christmas. There's no change in that. Okay. Everybody will still have them two days off as much as possible per week. Yeah, things like that. But some of the low hanging fruits with commissions and so, we're going to work with the team to see if we can find reasonable solutions mm -hmm. to get those things done as soon as possible. The Ministry of Labour has spoken to Minister Pernal Charles just a while ago. Four times on the way down from Kingsland. And he assured me that his people are meeting with them today okay. at about one o'clock or any time now to run through the contract one and the other issues that you raised. The second thing that we do is that Minister Bartlett set up a task force headed by Professor Walla to run through some of the long-term contractual issues. I'm Senator Janice Allen and I am the Shadow Minister of Tourism, opposition spokesperson. So I'm here this morning having received a call not too long ago that the staff are out striking. And this follows on the heels of recent action by other staff members elsewhere. Just last week in the Senate, we had the Senator on the government side, who is in charge of the Bustamante Industrial Trade Union, speaking of the importance of tourism workers and their conditions of employment, and the importance of ensuring that workers are fairly treated and treated in a way that made them feel like they're part of and partners in the tourism industry. What we see here and some of the concerns raised are important concerns that must be aired. And I look forward to having the discussion with management as to the urgency with which they're going to address these concerns. We can't do no more. See me near. Me have your doctor every month with me needs. We get injection. Oh, me overwork. Oh, I swell. We need help. That's why we're all here today. We find our goals about what happened to us here. Thanks for watching. This was a My View TV production. Remember to share, like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, tell a friend for tell a friend, and remember, it never bring nobody forward for cheer for him. What good?